Hey everybody, today I'm going to be cooking sous vide grouper with garlic, shallot, white bean, and kale brodo. Let's get into it. I'm Chef Trent and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. We're going to start with our sous vide fish. We do have our time temperature controlled water bath, our immersion circulator set up. It is at 135 degrees, but just as a precaution, we do have a biotherm that we are going to make sure our circulator is calibrated properly. And it's perfect. And we will now season our fish. Season from up high. Nice even distribution of salt and also pepper. And we will start with placing our protein into our cooking vessel. Gently place our grouper in the bag with moderate spacing in between each piece. And then add the rest of our ingredients. We have some sliced garlic, about three tablespoons of butter, and two sprigs of rosemary. We will evenly distribute our butter through the bag and just make sure that we can get as much oxygen as we can out of the bag. We can use the water bath itself to remove the excess oxygen so our protein just doesn't float there in the water like a bobber. And then once our protein is submerged, zip the top and just hang the edge of the bag over the side. This will cook for about 45 minutes while we gather the remainder of our ingredients. Now that we've got all our ingredients, we're going to start with our brodo. A little grapeseed oil in a preheated saucepan and we have some shallots that are quartered and peeled. We're just going to place our shallots on one side and we're just going to look for a little caramelization on the shallots. You want a moderate high heat when doing this. You're going to want to definitely caramelize. If your heat is too low, you will sweat the vegetable opposed to caramelize. If you were to go even lower than that, it would be considered a stewed vegetable. Now that we have our shallot petals caramelized, we are going to add northern white beans and some garlic. You're definitely going to want to hear that noise. It's going to let you know that your pan is up to temp. And you're also ready to infuse some of that garlic flavor into your white beans. We've cooked these beans and garlic for about two to three more minutes. And now we're going to deglaze the bottom of the pan with some white wine. This is a nice Chardonnay. You can use a Sauvignon Blanc if you choose, but you're going to remove a majority of those browned bean bits off the bottom of the sauce pot. Now that our wine is reduced by half, we will start with the remainder of our ingredients. We have a little bit of vegetable bouillon. We're going to do one tablespoon. It does have a quite thick consistency, so we're going to use the tablespoon to incorporate it. And we will also add a large tablespoon of some whole grain mustard. Using the same technique. And to this mixture, we're just going to add two cups of vegetable stock. So with the stock going in, this actually creates a broth, which in Italian, brodo means broth. We will remove it from the heat, add a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, and our baby kale blend. We want to remove from the heat and then add our kale blend as to not just overcook and we will set this to the side on a low heat 
All right, our fish is all cooked, ready to go in this bag. We're gonna transfer it to our plate just so it doesn't get water everywhere. We will open our bag and remove our pieces of fish very delicately. We will use our tongs to get rid of the remainder of the garlic that has been stuck on the pieces of fish. We pat our protein dry. We don't want a lot of this excess water on our protein when it goes into a pan of hot oil. It will get a little bit of back splatter. We're gonna start in a preheated nonstick skillet with a little bit of grapeseed oil. And we will come straight from our paper towel into our saute pan. Presentation side down, skin side up again. And the fish is already cooked. We're just wanting to get a little bit of color on the fish. What we call a Maillard reaction in the industry. We will plate our brodo. We really want to scoop garnish before broth and place it nicely in the center of the plate. Make sure to grab a little bit of everything, the beans, the shallot, the kale. You're going to create a nice pedestal for this beautiful piece of fish. Now we're just going to check our fish and ensure we're where we want to be when it comes to color. And now a taste. The fish is cooked perfectly. There's a crisp crust on the very top side of the fish and then everything below that is extremely tender. The shallots just melt and the broth really brings everything together. There's just so much you can do with an immersion circulator in this great cooking method. And this fantastic group of recipes is a great place to start. Use the link below to download the full recipe. And don't forget to hit subscribe to watch other Aprons Cooking School videos and find more great content from Publix. See you next time.